Our next guest is the Vice President of Philanthropy at the Latino Community Foundation, who is here to discuss the launch of their San Diego Latino Giving Circle, whose mission is to unleash the power of Latinos in California by investing in Latino-led organizations dedicated to the transformation of their community. So to help us achieve this goal, we want to now invite Sara Belten. Thank you for joining us here today, Sara. Thank you, Thank you. So I want to start off by just saying, this organization is so unique, this foundation. I can't believe that it's the only one of its kind. Is that right? Well, we are the only statewide foundation focused on building a pipeline of Latino leaders. And the way we do our work is through three different initiatives. So we support Latino-led nonprofit organizations across the state. And we are also building um, what we call people-powered philanthropy. So this movement of civically engaged Latino philanthropy. So this, uh, the giving circles are part Which of is that. the circles we were talking yes. about. So these circles, how do they work? Is it only in California or do they have them in other states already? Well, right now we have 17 here in California. Okay. Um, Central Valley, Sacramento, wine country, uh, all the way here to San Diego. Mm -hmm. We're launching San Diego and uh, it's just California. And the way they work is a group of individuals like you and me uh, that want to support uh, small grassroots Latino nonprofits. So um, each member uh, puts together, you know, some money, mm -hmm. and the money gets together, and the group decides um, a cost that they want to fund. So, for example, you know, it can be early childhood education mm -hmm. or financial empowerment of women and girls mm -hmm. or civic engagement. And uh, the Latino Community Foundation helps you um, find those organizations that do the work in the issue that you care about. Yeah. And you as a group decide which organization to fund mm -hmm. and the whole amount of money goes to that nonprofit. So you said San Diego is barely getting started. So this foundation didn't start in San Diego? Where did it start? Uh, we are based in San Francisco. So okay. we're headquartered in San Francisco. Mm -hmm. But we have a uh, grant making across the state. And you've been expanding? Yes. Which is pretty amazing. I saw that you guys also have some of the groups aren't by region, yes, right? Yes, I am, yeah. So I saw the tech group, which I thought was really cool, and then you also have the LGBTQ. So how does that work, again, with the Latino community? You know, sometimes they weren't so, they weren't so open-minded in the past, you know, just to be straightforward. And now I feel like, you know, younger Latinos are getting involved and they're trying to get back. And how have you seen the LGBTQ circle? Like, how does that come about? Well, you know, um, a couple of questions you uh, uh, threw out there. So first, you know, I think Latinos, we are extremely generous, but maybe the, the concept of traditional philanthropy mm -hmm. and strategic philanthropy is what is not very common for Latinos. Mm -hmm. So that is why the Giving Circle model is so easy. Uh, because it's social, yeah. we get together, there's always food, wine, it's like a big family. <laughs> yeah, a big party. Uh, a big party, yes. And, uh, and to give back. Uh -huh. um, we are extremely generous. I mean, we have always uh, support, you know, our families, mm -hmm. our churches. And now this is a way to learn how to give more strategically. And in terms of the LGBTQ uh, giving circle, we love them. I mean, they are uh, one of the most active giving circles okay. that, that we have. And, uh, and it's so necessary because the issues of the LGBTQ Latino community are very different yeah. from the issues that just Latinos have mm -hmm. and also the LGBTQ uh, white community. So um, we found that it was important to have a group of Latino professionals focused on supporting, you know, uh, trans issues, mm -hmm. um, you know, all the, to try to, to end with the hate uh, narrative that yes, is going exactly. to, the, to the LGBT community and the mm -hmm. Latino community. I so, love it. I thought yeah. that was great that that was one of the part of the groups, even though most of them are regional. I thought that there was uh, certain ones with certain focus. Yes. So also another big thing, this forum, the 2018 uh, gubernatorial, was yes. it? The gubernatorial candidates. I can't believe that was the first of its kind. What's happening? Why is this the first? Uh, well, you know, <laughs> That third initiative that the Latino Community Foundation has is to increase the civic participation of Latinos in the state. Okay. Uh, we're 39% of the population of, in California, 
and uh, we need to have our voices heard and exactly. we need to participate. Mm -hmm. So uh, a big, big, you know, initiative of us is getting Latinos to get involved. Yeah. From the PTA in school, to running for a school board, to, to running the, for office, yeah. to register to vote. Exactly, I mean, we yeah. need to register to vote. We need to have our voices heard. So for us, it was important to also, you know, have uh, the candidates uh, address the issues that, the, that affect our community. Yeah. So uh, that is why we, we have them at UCLA in, in January. I was shocked that it was the first one. Has this like been attempted before and it wasn't successful or were you guys just the first ones to take a jab at it? I think we were the first ones to take a, a jab at it. And, uh, and people were very pleased because I think, um, you know, we do have some elected officials that are Latinos. Actually, you know, a, bit, a good number, yes. but not enough. Not no. enough. I mean, if we are 39% of the population, we it should needs to be, be reflected. It yes, be of course. Mm -hmm. I couldn't agree more. I thought that was uh, pretty exciting. And you guys also had, you know, you had all the candidates and you partnered up with a very big network to be able to spread the word. Yes. So has that helped you guys grow after you did that? Have you seen more people get involved? Have the circles been growing? Definitely. And actually, um, Amanda Renteria, who ran for governor, mm -hmm. uh, she put her candidacy the day after we had our forum. Okay. And she emailed us and she said, I was so inspired to be in that forum that uh, I'm going to run for office. Wow. So we do have <laughs> That's people huge. taking yeah. action. And also right now we're doing a lot of work uh, regarding the census. Okay. So um, as you know, there is the census coming in 2020 mm -hmm. and we want to make sure that every single person, regardless of their immigration status, yeah. gets counted. So, and um, how are you guys doing this? Well, you know, we are uh, doing a lot of outreach, a lot of mm -hmm. education. We're working with other organizations like, like Naleo um, at the national level um, to, first of all, you know, we're trying to um, protest about the, the citizenship question. Uh, mm -hmm. Which is the big the, one to be added, yes. Yes, and, uh, and just doing a lot of outreach with our nonprofits and, mm -hmm. and also activating our Giving Circle members. Um, to engage in this in this process. I honestly think it's amazing. I, I again couldn't believe that you guys were the first foundation here in California and then the first ones to be able to create this forum. I think it's really exciting. You know, we don't get to see a lot of that and hopefully like you said, you inspired already one person to run which is huge. Have you guys seen other people get involved from your circles in politics? Is that something that's not a requirement, but something you look for in the people that We come? look, you know, we look for civic engagement. And uh, um, I'm not sure if somebody else running for office, but a lot of people, you know, taking action and, mm -hmm. you know, uh, taking a weekend to go and register people to vote, yeah. um, joining nonprofit boards, um, running for a school board. So different different ways to engage with And how can people join? How can they be part of the foundation? Great question. So <laughs> we are going to be here on August 29 okay. uh, at, the, at the San Diego Foundation. And uh, we're launching the, the San Diego Giving Circle. And everybody's invited. And you know they can check our website, uh, which is latinocf.org. Mm -hmm. uh, email us to get more information. And, and we would love for Everybody Perfect. We'll us. provide that website for them. And if they can't make it to the event, of course, you have all the information on your website. I saw yes. it already there and there's a lot to take in. I found it really interesting. Thank you so much for being with us here today, Sada. Thank you for your Thank time. You, Lily. And I hope that it just keeps spreading and it keeps growing because I really love the message you guys have. Thank you.